Warriors. Welcome back to another episode of Rare Weekly. I'm Austin. I'm Mason. This is the last week until Thanksgiving break. Austin, what is your favorite food during Thanksgiving dinner? My favorite food during Thanksgiving dinner is cranberries. I love cranberries more than I love most Nasty. things. Oh my god, you know what? That is so disrespectful. Like, I don't diss your favorite food. Like, come on. Anyways, cranberries are the best. Mason's a nerd. Now, on to sports with Clay and Brody. Welcome back to another great week of Raider Weekly, ladies and gentlemen. This is sports. I am Brody O'Malley. That is Clay Jameson. Clay, take it away. Last Friday, the Raiders beat the Burlington Wildcats on their home field. The final score was 22 to 6. And now they face the Holton Wildcats, who are 8 and 1 this season. Yep, Holton, pretty good team. You guys are going to have to bring it. Uh, bring their A game. It's the only yep. way to win. Thanks. Uh, basketball starts in one week. Today is Tuesday. I don't know when this is coming out. But so basketball starts Monday. Uh, should be a pretty good year. Should win a lot of games. And uh, we're hoping to go the distance. Hey, you see Mario with that return, though? Yeah, hey, buddy. Hey, the second he returned that, hey, I left the building. I left the building. I said it's over. Oh, so, you did. I did. I literally did. And that was it for this uh, section of sports. On to the next. Who's hey there, Raiders. Here's the announcements from Friday, November 13th, 2020 to Monday, November 23rd, 2020. First up, on Friday, November 13th at 12.30 p.m., there's a Thanksgiving meal. And at there is a football game at home against Holton. Saturday, November 14th, at 9 a.m., we have a junior high wrestling match at Columbus. And at 9 a.m., we also have junior high girls basketball at home against Fort Scott and PCMS. Monday, November 16th, at 5.30, there is a junior high girls basketball game at home versus Baxter. Tuesday, November 17th, at 5.30 p.m., we have a junior high wrestling match at Frontenac. Wednesday, November 18th at 2.15, there is early release. Thursday, November 19th, we have at 5.30 p.m., we have a junior high girls basketball game at Riverton. Friday, November 20th, that is the last day in person before Thanksgiving break. And at 7.40, there is a TSA meeting. At uh, 3.30 p.m., there is a junior high wrestling at Colleyville. And 7 p.m., it's football substate. Saturday, November 21st, and Sunday, November 22nd, FHS will present the play Clue. Make sure you guys go and see that. Monday, November 23rd, there's all day junior high wrestling at Columbus and all day remote learning. And at 5.30 p.m., there's a junior high girls basketball game at home versus St. Mary's. That's all the announcements we have for this week. So let's go on with the next segment. Hi there, Raiders, and welcome back to Raider Weekly's Book Club. Once again, I'm Carson Westoff. This week's book will be The Maze Runner by James Dashner. It is the first book in the Maze Runner series. When Thomas wakes up in the lift, the only thing he can remember is his name. He's surrounded by strangers, boys, whose memories are also gone. Outside the towering stone walls that surround the glade is a limitless and ever-changing maze. It is the only way out, and no one has ever made it through alive. Then a girl arrives, the first girl ever, and the message she delivers is terrifying. Our quote for this book is, The Grievers Will Kill You, One Every Night Until It's Over, said by Galley, page 257, chapter 39. A catastrophe is an event causing great and often sudden damage or suffering, a disaster. Fleeting means lasting for a very short time. These books are so good, and they put a, a good image into your head, and I ended up finishing this one within a day. That's all for this week's book club. On to the next segment with Ben Potts. Hey everybody, I'm going to be uh, finishing my uh, segment today from last week uh, over Among Us. Uh, today will be an imposter round. Last week was a crewmate. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Alright, I got an imposter this time. So, basically I'm going to be running around trying to kill people and not get caught. And then I can also sabotage, I can turn lights off, make them have to go do this, I can shut all these doors. That's a good place to kill at. And then I will 
vent away so I'm as far away as the body as I can be. Oh, I just found another body. So I'm gonna report it so somebody doesn't run up on me and I don't look suspicious. I uh, still got my teammate up, so I'll just have to play this alone for the rest of the game. Just make a task. Waiting for my kill thing to go up. Then when it's up, I will probably do lights. Should be people right there on electrical. I'll kill, run around, vent, and get out of here. Ah, I got polluted out, so. Lost that game. Teammate wasn't the best. Kind of killed in front of everybody, but it's okay. So I play again. I'm just going to leave this. Alright, that was my imposter round. Sadly, I didn't get the win, but that's okay. That's all for this week's episode of Raider Weekly. Uh, make sure you enjoy your Thanksgiving break in this episode of Radio Weekly because you're not getting another one over Thanksgiving break. And if you want another one, just rewatch this episode a couple times. Yeah. All right. See you next time.